Okay, I think it's time we talk about the cost of an engineering degree. And I'm not talking about tuition. That's important and we'll talk about that in a future video. But uh, for this video, we're gonna talk about a different cost that in my opinion is a lot more important and way less understood. I'm talking about the cost of time. So to start, I wanna make something perfectly clear. The cost of an engineering degree in terms of time should be viewed the same way as you view your tuition. Just as necessary, right? If you don't pay your tuition, you're gonna get kicked out of school. If you don't dedicate the appropriate amount of time, your performance will decline and you'll probably be kicked out of school. Same result in both scenarios. The difference is one is very defined and the other is not. When we talk about tuition, it's the same for everybody, no matter who you are. But when you talk about the cost of time, it gets pretty tricky because the amount of time that it takes for someone to be successful is different for everybody, right? It can change day to day, uh, week to week, semester to semester, and student to student. So because it's so variable, it can make planning for the cost of time very, very difficult, which is why it bites a lot of students right in the tushy. A lot of times, students will heavily underestimate how long their studies will take, right? And this can very often lead to procrastination and low performance. It can be really easy to uh, think something's only gonna take an hour or two because that's how much you want it to take, uh, when in reality, it's gonna take two or three or four times that long. It can be especially difficult when you have something else tempting you, right? Like a friend wanting to go party, or a hobby or video game that you love, or a boyfriend or girlfriend wanting to hang out. It can be really easy to confuse how long you want your studies to take with how long they're actually going to take. This behavior can really easily lead you into thinking like, oh, I'll just, I'll just do that assignment in the morning, right? I'll wake up early and for sure get it done. Or I'll just miss the points on this one and I'll, I'll make them up on future assignments, right? I think we all can agree that's a pretty slippery slope, right? By not spending an adequate amount of time on your learning, not only will you be missing the points associated with that assignment, but you'll also be digging yourself into a little hole, right? Because come exam time, you won't have that knowledge potentially. And then we're talking a real impact to your grade. So I think you should kind of go away from trying to set uh, expectations on how long something should take. Try, don't try to define how long an assignment or a study session or whatever should take. Um, you should let your learning and let your studies take as long as they need, right? Um, if you try to define it, if you try to say, oh, this assignment's only going to take me like an hour. After this hour, I'm going to, you know, schedule some time with my friends and girlfriend or whatever. And then that usually leads to you, you know, getting angry because the assignment is going to take longer than an hour um, and a lot of times will lead to poor work, right? You'll, you'll miss points because you won't get your stuff done. So try not to set expectations. Let, it, let your stuff take as long as it needs. At the very least, just expect your studies to take uh, two, three, four times longer than you think they will. You know, eventually you'll develop some intuition for how long uh, assignments and, and uh, study sessions will take, right? Uh, but in the beginning, like freshman and sophomore year, you should really block out large chunks of time almost every day uh, to dedicate to whatever learning and whatever studying, whatever assignments you have to get done. And if you have some spare time at the end, great. But in the beginning, you should really over plan, right? Uh, plan for more than you need. The problem is, most kids don't dedicate an appropriate amount of time, right? They will underestimate how much time they need and usually leads to struggling, right? Bad performance, low grades. Um, the, the real issue is though, they, don't, they won't usually blame how much time they're spending um, for their poor performance. Usually they'll think, oh, I'm just not smart enough. It's just too hard. Or, you know, my professor isn't good enough or I'm just not capable. I don't want you to fall into this trap. Let me make this perfectly clear. Your success in school is guaranteed as long as you dedicate the appropriate amount of time. Let me say that again. 
your success in school is guaranteed as long as you dedicate the appropriate amount of time. So it's implied that you're using your time well, right? You're, you're studying, you're doing research, you're asking questions, you know, you're actively learning with the time that you're dedicating. You know, we, we can look at it mathematically. Actively studying multiplied by time equals good grades. This equation is true for everybody, no matter who you are. The only variable that changes from person to person is time. So you're just going to need to figure out what that amount of time is for you, right? What that cost of time is for you, because uh, make no mistake, it's a cost. It is required for you to graduate um, and it'll change day to day, course to course, semester to semester, week to week. Um, it's very fluctuating. Uh, but as long as you figure out that number and you pay the cost, you pay the price in time, your success will be guaranteed. I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see all the future videos. Um, and you know, if you want to know more about time management as it relates to school, uh, make sure you check out my book. I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.